hello youtube what's up it's dp aviation here and today i'm out at you with a one of old islamabad airport update this airport's name was benazi bhutto international airport and if you're a pakistani and a pakistani aviationist then you must know that islamabad this airport of islamabad served all the time to pakistan till 2018 until the new airport had started and I just made this airport because I didn't have space for other airports and uh, like Lahore because it's a very huge one and I don't even have this airport completely. I, I just had a limited space on the table so I decided to do an old Islamabad since I also have the models of that and also uh, personally speaking I've never been to this airport. I've been to Islamabad like back in 2007 or 2008 so I don't really remember a lot about this airport and but yeah i have seen multiple videos and heard from a lot of people about this airport all i knew is that i knew that it was a very small one and a congested one which i believe not just because of the air side but because of the terminal it used to get congested a lot and if you can search on youtube you might find a lot of videos about this but it, they still despite being so small they had a very good amount of airlines and number of flights that's the main reason it used to get congested but luckily now it's replaced with a new and a beautiful airport which one day i hope to visit and also i hope to make it one day for the channel since i have planes for that but it just takes up, up a lot of space so that's uh, it with the introduction now i'll go uh, now as we will head on to the aircrafts i'll tell you history about it and if you look over here i just have the international terminal part and here on my phone, I have the location of the real airport, the Google, according to Google satellites, you can see this is the long runway that they had. Wait, let me show you. So the runway's length was very long compared to the one, actually it's showing PAF runway because now it's owned by PAF since 2018, Pakistan Air Force. And this was, I believe, the domestic satellite, sorry, the domestic side of air, aircraft and this was the international one and you can see the taxiway is much smaller than i have made it right now it's much smaller than that in real life and this is this uh, weird little vegetation and grasslands i guess this was the main problem that they could have made a hard stand over here or maybe extended the terminal this i guess spoiled the shape of the airport and this was a taxiway going all the way to the runway and they had two runways by the way i believe they had two runways yeah, this one going this way. I guess this is also the taxiway, maybe. Yeah, maybe a taxiway. And but the airport was long compared to the airport. The runway was long. So yeah, now let's move on with the routes. And I definitely don't have any flight numbers because this is an old update, and so the flight numbers don't really matter. Okay, so starting off here, we have a PIA 747, which is living for manchester i believe and then pia 747 they have a big history over here and as you all know that before 2015 not only karachi but also islamabad had a big hub for pia 747s and moving on here at the hard there is triple seven two hundred year which i i know correctly that it did operate this livery to islamabad as all the videos show the olden times of Islamabad so they operated this livery a lot next off we have the Shaheen Air A330 and as you all know that Shaheen Air is defunct now so when Shaheen Air used to operate they I guess throughout their uh, career actually I don't guess I'm 100% correct that throughout their uh, career they used to operate to uh, the old Islamabad airport they all even operated to the new airport for a few months in 2018 I believe it was three or four months after that they suspended their operations and they, especially the A330 on the international routes. So this is also going to Manchester. And by the way, if I didn't mention, this is going to Abu Dhabi as usual because where else would it how there is go? And the Manchester flight of Shaheen Air going to Manchester and this is the international terminal as I mentioned and they used to be really good at this route. So moving on here, we have a PIU triple seven two hundred ER, which is leaving for, which is going to Paris, I believe, or if not Paris, then 
to Jeddah, but that's where the 777s usually used to go from Benazir Bhutto International Airport. And last of all, uh, in the parkings, we have the Kuwait Airways 777, which is living for Kuwait City. And Kuwait Airways used to operate their A320s to Islamabad. They only operated the 787s to Lahore and also the A320s to Karachi. So that's all with the parkings. Actually, at the real airport, there are six parkings, but I have I, I had space for five since I had this small terminal. If I didn't have this, have this, I would have had the six parking. But I think it's fine for now. Okay, so pushing back here, we have an Emirates triple seven three hundred year, and Emirates used to operate a uh, one daily flight to uh, return flight to Dubai and Islamabad, but. Uh, they, they weren't as big as, uh, they still aren't as big as uh, they are at Karachi at any other airport of Pakistan, be it Lahore, be it Islamabad. So yeah, and this is leaving for Dubai, just pushing back. Behind it, coming from the domestic terminal, as you domestic parking, as you all know that I don't have a domestic parking on this airport. So I just had to throw this in the uh, taxiway. So this is AirBlue A320 leaving for Karachi. And... AirBlue, they used to have a lot of, they still have a lot of uh, flights from Islamabad. They are uh, much stronger than Karachi in Islamabad and they are also much stronger than Karachi at Lahore because I guess they, they hail from, they actually do hail from Islamabad but they, that's the reason they are also more into Lahore because Lahore is near Islamabad. So yeah, this is going to Karachi. And also they had a big international network like Muscat, Damam, Damam uh, and Muscat, those routes are cancelled now, but Jeddah, Riyadh, Damam, Muscat and even Manchester they operated from, but on the A340s they operated from uh, Islamabad. I don't remember if they ever brought their A340s to uh, Karachi. They even used to operate domestic flights like Lahore and Islamabad when they used to be a big hub. As you all know, unfortunately, now because of the petrol price hike and the opening of motorway, the airlines have suspended their Islamabad and Lahore route. They, it used to be a very popular route. route. And Airblue and Shahina even used to fly there. It, like Shahina used to fly their A330s from on this route, Lahore to Islamabad, and Airblue used to fly their uh, A340s from Lahore to Islamabad. And if you might see the old video, then you may understand. So that's all with the update and if you want to know still uh, the new airport has been opened in Islamabad in 2018 it is a very good one and i would really like to visit it and fly from it and fly into it i haven't tried it yet also i can't take a direct flight from lahore but i might need to go to karachi for that or maybe i just go by road and then fly to karachi but i would really like to visit that airport of Islamabad and I once again I repeat that this Benazir Bhutto airport is made by me because I didn't have any other airport to make but and I wanted to do this update since a long time since I have all the plane since I have all the planes sorry for the voice crack of all planes for this airport and uh, so that will probably do the update and I hope you guys enjoyed I will try to make a Peshawar airport update or maybe a Multan update which I already did in 2020 but I would like to do a Peshawar update, say Alcor update. But a Lahore airport update is a bit difficult since uh, I can only add the parkings and the taxiway. Other, otherwise, it's very difficult to add the Lahore airport because it's a bit bigger compared to uh, Islamabad. So that'll do. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below. And Thanks for watching. Goodbye till we meet again.